quite continuing on. Driver's door is not going to be too dissimilar to the the uh, Turismo we've already got. So we've got our button here to fold in our wing mirrors. We've got the knob there to move the glass. So to move the glass in the driver's door, you would turn that to the right, and then you would move the joystick around, recenter it, and then again to the left to move the left-hand side. Front windows, rear windows, door and window locks, exactly the same as we've got currently. Driver's seat, you've got forwards and backwards, and also upwards, and then your recline on the back there. Your bonnet release is down here and your fuel release cap is here. Looking at the buttons which are on the front side of the dashboard we've got the lock button which is for your four-wheel drive system so the four-wheel drive is a torque on demand system so it will run as a two-wheel drive car predominantly should it sense a loss of traction, go, it would uh, start feeding more traction to the rear. If you were driving in snow or off-road and you wanted to uh, have the security that you would split the drive 50-50, you just press that button, it will split 50 to the front, 50 to the back, um, and once you go over 20 mile an hour, it will disconnect. The button beside that is your electronic stability control. That's obviously monitoring you when you're driving, how fast you're going into corners and things. Um, it's just keeping an eye on, on making sure you stay safe on the road so you wouldn't really want to switch that off. Beside that is your rear fog light and then your headlight levelling on here.